So here we are with science time and Nathan. We also have Lillian and Cece. We previously were making markers, so that's why you'll see that the table's all covered with newspaper, newspaper or flyers because we don't actually get newspaper in our house. So what we're doing here is we're going to make a lemon fizzy drink. So in this water, we've dissolved some sugar. And what, what does dissolving do, Nathan? It makes it go inside the water and as you taste it, might taste a bit different than it would normally. Yeah, so let's taste the water here and make sure it tastes sweet. Yeah, it now, it's sweet. very important that you only taste things that you know are safe. Okay? So if we were doing another different experiment, you might not want to taste it because it might not be safe. So we've put some sugar in here. This isn't really important to the experiment, but it's important to what's going to go on at the end. So what we, else we've got here is we've got some lemon juice. Let's put the lemon juice down right here. Lemon juice. You can use, also use a real lemon. We just don't happen to have any. And we've also got baking soda. Now we're using Arm & Hammer, but you can really use any kind of baking soda. So what we're gonna do here We've got one spoon here that is going to be our wet spoon and one spoon that's going to be our dry spoon. So we're going to dump some of this stuff into here, onto the spoon. We want like, that's enough. We just want one spoonful. So we're going to dump this into our water. Dump it. Keep our dry spoon dry. Now we're going to mix it up and we're going to see dissolving again. We're gonna mix it up until it's as clear as it can be. Now, it won't be as clear as with the sugar, but it will be pretty clear still. And Nathan, our master mixer, now we're gonna stop mixing and see if there's any that's still on the bottom. No, no, we're just gonna look, look in the bottom of the glass and see if you see any powder there. Still a bit. Still a little bit. Okay, keep stirring. And as you will see, there's Alpha Getty for a dollar at whatever store this is. So maybe we should go get some because we like Alpha Getty. No, we don't. We don't really ever have Alpha Getty, do we? Maybe for a special treat, we should go get some Alpha Getty just because I'm looking in the video here and it, that's all I see. And tomatoes. Mm, we should get some tomatoes and some Alpha Getty. We can have like a full lunch. Yeah, that's real Okay, nice. so it's really clear now, you see? There's a little bit of fuzzy stuff, but that's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take lemon juice. Okay, so we're going to open the lemon juice container. And so what, what do you think is going to happen when we pour the lemon juice in the water? I don't know. You don't know. So I'm going to give you a hint. Now, you haven't done this in school yet, but if you mix something that's an acid with a base... It has, it has a, a chemical reaction. So we're going to do a chemical reaction. Hold on, hold on. And after that reaction, we're going to see what happens. That's why it's going to be an experiment, okay? And that's what we do in science time is experiments. So we're going to dump this until it's almost halfway to the top. Keep yapping. Oh, whoa, it's going to overflow. Good thing we had the paper down there. Yep. So now we've got... Oh, don't, don't worry about don't worry about stirring it. It's good. So, what do you think happened there? It made it made it taste like lemon juice. Well, it made it taste like lemon juice. That's for sure. So, oh, hold on. Let's put the cap on the lemon juice. So we got that tastes is not that good. So, what we've got here is we had an acid, which is the lemon juice, and a base, which is the baking soda, and they combined together to form some chemicals and carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is what? Do you know what carbon dioxide is? It's a, it's a gas. So that's where we get the bubbles from, it's a gas. So you know when you have some Sprite and there's bubbles in it? Yeah. That's what, what they do there. Well, that's not how they do it, but that's the same thing as there's carbon dioxide in the bubbles inside the the pop. So now we've had lemon, so it tastes like lemon. And lemon? Lemon there, yeah. First. And we've got the baking soda. 
And it's important that you use baking soda, not baking powder. Even though they kind of seem like the same thing, they're a little bit different. So always make sure that you're using the right one for this experiment if you're trying this at home. Now, because we know that everything we've used is safe to, to eat, and I, I know afterwards that this chemical here is safe to drink, we're going to try drinking it. Hey, let's go, Nate. You only should try this if you know it's safe. What's it taste like? A bit like lemon. It tastes like lemonade? Of course, yeah. we put lemon. Or does it taste like a lot like lemonade? Is it too much lemon, do you think? Mm -hmm. So, if we were being chefs, we would probably measure that out correctly. But we're not being chefs, we're just being experimenters. But does it get, is it fizzy in your mouth to drink? Just like pop, right? So let's pull out the spoon and we can finish drinking our our, our special treat and we'll, maybe we'll share with someone else here. Share. Okay, let's share. Pass it to Lillian. She can have a sip. It's so awesome. It's so awesome? It's, is it a little bit sour? Wow. Pass it around. Cece can have a drink. I like it. You don't like it? It's a little sour? Daddy'll have some. Yeah, it's a little sour. Okay, let Nathan finish it off. Now, this isn't something I would recommend at home. It kind of tastes like pina coladas, which is kind of odd. Not that I've ever had an extra pina colada. I liked it. It wasn't very good? Yeah. <laughs> sour. But you finished it, and that was the important part. Really sour. So now, the, now, after we've done our experiment, we're going to clean up. You guys probably don't want to watch that, so we'll stop the video now. Say goodbye. Bye. And we'll see you next time on Science Time. I so didn't taste good. <laughs>